yeah so now let's see one more concept called http cookie manager okay now for example if you see here uh, where is view result right okay if you see request no cookies okay we are not maintaining any cookies in our flow so basically if you log in into your page okay so session id and all these values will be stored in your cookie data so whenever you navigate to other pages if those elements are already in your cookie then it will not take much time to load a page okay that you know basically about cookies hope you all know what the usage of cookies so if cookies are present in your i mean in your application if those are maintained if you make navigations to from each page to each page so every time the application will not load completely if it is already present in your cookies it will use cookie information to load the page it will not give from the server again so that will really uh, maximizes your performance of your application if you use cookies and also username password if you enter something and if your cookies are stored next time when you log in you will be automatically go to the login page okay so it's a good practice to maintain cookies in your application so that will really reduce your performance of your application for example you want the page to load in some milliseconds there will be a difference between uh, you are going to that page with already having some cookies for your application and you are going without any cookies definitely there is some gap you can see that performance improvement uh, area you can see if you compare these two if there are no cookies definitely there will be little milliseconds time it will take more to load an page okay if you are already having those if you are maintaining the session cookies then performance will be improved okay you will quickly see that a page which is loading so now when you are client or when you are supervisor ask you to test it in real time so in real time if your application have some cookies uh, the end user will not delete cookies every time when you open the page he'll just do his work and get out okay again he'll come back but the application is maintain cookies and giving the quick pages quick responses to him okay so even we need to test a uh, performance test in practical manner by maintaining cookies okay it's a good practice to maintain cookie session and running your test if you see this here there are no cookies maintained okay so now to make the cookies maintained in our run there is a function a specific feature in jmeter where you can add add okay or you can write it here correlation add uh, config element http cookie manager okay so uh, let it be anywhere that doesn't matter so this will given the top priority before running your script okay now you run this observe now here it says no cookies right okay now delete everything and run and you see cookie data okay this maintains cookie cookie value id and that will really come down your uh, performance i mean sorry come down the performance parameters so the throughput will be more if you use the cookies in your application so see before we have seen that there are no cookies now it successfully maintained cookies for your application in your entire flow okay so it's good practice uh, to write a http cookie manager for your test script while developing and there might be also a scenario that test it loop uh, put the load without maintaining cookies put the load with maintaining cookies and see how the application is behaving okay you might have any kind of test cases for your load okay that all depends upon the people who prepare test plan for performance okay so if they ask you to 
put the load by maintaining cookies you just add http cookie manager for your thread group add config element that's it just add it in your folder it will given top priority and for each and every request you are making it will maintain cookie okay so that's it about uh, cookie manager concept so in the last few lectures almost we have covered all the main concepts we have seen how to handle cookie manager how to put an assertions and how to see the assertion results as well and how to use the debug sampler and we have also seen how to extract the regular expression lines with the help of regular expression extractor and we also seen how to correlate by passing the value into the response from previous request okay we have seen we have covered many more concepts in this lecture right so that's all i have for now thank you